what your right. writing is in it. All right, so let's. I got you right here. I'm gonna let you talk. I'm gonna let you talk. I ain't saying that. Don't let her pull you. Wait, I'm, I'm listening. Go ahead. So as I said initially, that what you're reading me is she can come back around too. By the way, is an interpretation of what someone else is telling. Got gotcha. you. But what I know to be a fact is that our ancestors they were connected to the Most High. They were connected to the Creator, and there were yes. no there were no middlemen. Those are middlemen, but our ancestors are connected. To are you sure? No, I'm, I'm not going to dis disagree with our ancestors was. I want to adjust a few points before we keep moving. Women up here? But peep this out. Like I said, don't get distracted. But you too, sister. I don't disagree with the fact that our ancestors were connected to the Most High. But we always had a mediator. After Abraham, we had a mediator. Why? Because we went into sin. But I want to address that first point. You said the earth is millions of years old, correct? Where did that study come from? Then we'll move the goalposts. Let's address that first. So I don't have any statistical evidence on the, the origin of like the, I don't, I'm not going to spit out a number because I don't know. Okay, what's your name, sister? I know the, uh, 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 You said you don't know. Uh, uh, before we move the goalposts, okay. you said you don't know. What's your name? My name's Brittany. How you doing, Brittany? What's your name, sister? Now, I'm going to ask you the same question. Where did that study come from? That the earth is millions of years old. Cause you said it's older than this Bible. I want to. I want proof. No, the earth that the earth that your studies provide that the earth is millions of years old, and this is not old enough. Fossils. Fossils. That's it. Fossils. Now the study of fossils. Where did that come from? You are. St what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you a fact check. All right. I let you talk. No, 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 no. It didn't. It came from. And you okay. Can you want to keep talking? Did I, did I keep you didn't even let me finish my Go ahead. statement. That's why there's no women out here. Go ahead. That's, I, that's women are not out here because we're at war. We're Bring protecting our sisters. Hey, our wives are at home right now. Do you want our women out here trying to fight against oppression? No, our women are at home raising up a nation. That's why they're not out here. Now, do not let her distract you. I'll let her talk. Go ahead. Uh, all right, so now it's my turn, correct? I gave y'all respect. Respect. Y'all studies came from carbon dating. That came from a white man. Bring that is up. not our people. Uh, what did you say? Wallace was what? Connected to the Most High. But we lost that connection through not following the commandments which made us his people. Right. Watch this. Second, Second, Peter, three and eight. Yeah, Second Peter chapter 3. Says, I want y'all to listen. I want y'all to listen. I want y'all to listen. Then we're going to dialogue. Like I said, we're going to try not to talk to but we're going to deal with order here. We are not, what I will not do is move the goalposts until we address and establish the answer. Carbon dating came from a so-called white man. We had the sources to prove it. Now, we're going to prove through our historical documents that the earth is how, however much old. How, let's see what God said. Come on. Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 8. But be, but be, be loved. Be not ignorant of this one thing. That one, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. What? A thousand years. God said one day with the Lord is a thousand years. One day with the Lord is with a thousand years. Through historical documentation, we said the Bible supports 6,000 years. But who are we to say? The Bible says that. You understand? When was that Bible written? When was this particular Bible written? When was the first Bible written? What was that, 2,000 years ago? You sure? I'm, that's what I'm is that a question? Are you talking about the William Tisdale Bible? Are you talking about the Septuagint? There's various. Which version? Look, she's she's talking now. But when we had that carpet, she was the whispering on the side. Come on now, deal with her, sister. Now, what's your question? I'm gonna deal with you. She's talking on the side. Come on. When was the first? When was the first Bible written? The first Bible written. Yeah. All right, let's get Second Peter one and twenty. But hey, what's that First Peter 4 and 11 say? First Peter 4 and 11. Hey, somebody give me that finger of God scripture. Uh, and I do, Exodus I want to touch on what you mentioned as well. Say again? When you said that women aren't fighting oppression, women no, 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 no. are warriors. Don't misunderstand the question. Like I said, that's moving the goalpost. My question, she said, where's our, that's why y'all don't have sisters out here. I said, we don't, we, Israel United the Christ, and the men of this Bible, our forefathers never put our women out on the forefront. That's right. That's what I said. I didn't say women wasn't fighting oppression. Okay, the, now what I'm saying is that what? I think it's an illusion because there's a lot of women who have seen historically who were on the front lines of war. It, women why? were warriors. Why? Were warriors. Why? Why? Because the oppression is everywhere. No, no, no. Why did the women have to step out on the front? 
because the war is everywhere. Where was the men? I don't know where she The men were what? Through the Willie Lynch letter, I'm glad you brought that up. Through the Willie Lynch op uh, oppression method, they made the men emotionally weak but physically strong and made the women more independent without the men. Right. Now, women can now be on the forefront. Prior to that, prior to the civil rights movement, prior to the, who, who was on the, uh, before Rosa Parks and all, who was mainly on the for, uh, forefront? Especially prior to um, uh, Amelia Bloomer. So I'm speaking Prior to I'm Amelia, speaking. Amelia Bloomer, who was on the forefront? Was it Malcolm X? Was it... Was it, uh, about was it Martin Luther King? Ancestrally. Ancestrally, okay. Ancestrally. Before we even got to America, before the Willie Lynch Are you sure? Which, yes, this is what I'm speaking on. If you look historically, okay. like, uh, like there were Exodus, I mean, warriors. Ezekiel 34. Well, I'm, we're moving the goalpost again, but I don't mind it. No, we can, we're not moving the goalpost. Because the prior, go, the prior post was saying, you said who wrote the Bible. Now we're addressing well, women on oppression, right? And that's moving the goalpost. I addressing to what you said initially. Okay, I'll stay, okay, what topic do you want to address with me, sis? No, we don't have to address any topics. Because I think we've, I think we've discussed enough. Okay. I appreciate the knowledge um, that you all give. Um, I'm not completely aligned with where you are, but I Where are we at? The where are we at? Um, I don't know. Just saying that. So you don't. Know, I just want to address this. You don't know. You don't know where we stand at, but you don't think you agree with. It. Just based off of what you discussed to me, based on what you and the gentleman behind you have said, I haven't agreed with what you said. That we are God's chosen people, and that God is coming back to save the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's what our. That's where we stand at. Do you disagree with that? I do disagree with that because I don't okay. think that our creator. Um, I do think that there were. I think every every race, I think every ethnicity has a specific um, role on this earth, but I don't, I think that, that is, our we creator agree with created that. us all equal. We do, I don't he, think okay. that our creator created you a mix system it. of separation. Okay. I don't think that. Okay, so, think that we are all, all right, never mind. It. Scratch all that. Deuteronomy 32, verse 7. We're going to right, stay right here. Yeah, Deuteronomy 32, I'm going to show you something. God does have everybody in their specific roles. He has a ruling class, and he has a, a class that is subjugated. Right. The question is, what role do we play in the grand scheme of things? Watch this. Brittany, right? I didn't miss, okay. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse seven. Remember the days of old. Remember the days of old. Come on. Consider the years of many generations. Consider the years of our many generations. He wants you to think way back, come on. Ask thy father, ask your forefather, and he will show thee thy elders. And they will and they will tell them. When the most high divided to divided to the nations, he did what? Divided to the nations their inheritance. He divided. He divided the nations their inheritance. So let's look at Africa. Ham, who is called Mizraim or called Africans today, you guys are over in this land. Kim, those who subscribe to Kemet, you're in this land. Those who subscribe to Ishmael, you're in this land. Right. Japheth, you're in this land. Right. Israel, your land is the whole planet. Right. Come right. on. Right. When he separated, the, he did what? When, when he separated, he what? Separated. He what? Separated. He what? Separated. Joshua 6, he what? Separated. separated. He separated. No, he joined together. Read it again. When he separated the sons of Adam, he separated, Brittany, the sons of Adam. Who are, how many sons did Adam have? He was the father of how, how many people? He was the father of all nations, Adam. He was the father of all nations. But God said he separated the sons of Adam. He didn't join them together. He said, this is the people I'm going to deal with, and these are the other people. He's always had a divine order. You understand? We are his divine people that he's dealing with, Brittany. Do you disagree with that? The Bible um, said it, though. I don't. I do think that there are divine beings, but I don't think that... Who are those divine beings? I think the divine being is dependent on the soul that inhabits the body. I don't think that... I think that there are white people who may be divine beings. I think, I think that the divine being is the testament to the soul. I don't think that it encompasses the color of your skin. I don't think that it encompasses anything like that. It's not about I skin color. It's, it's not about but skin that's color. That's what you just said. You said the blacks, the Indians, and the Native Americans. I generalized. I never said. I never said color. Hold on now. You got the because you literally blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay. Are they colors or are those ethnicities? Black is a color. Native American. What do blacks call themselves today? How, let's, okay, There's let's make it more specific names. for you, Brittany. Okay. African Americans. No, okay, yes. Hispanics okay. call themselves Venezuelans, Guatemalans, Panamanians, Brazilians. So I can go. I, I summarize it. I want you to look at this. Follow me, Brittany. Follow me. Now, 
These blacks call themselves African Americans, but God called you fine. You're in the hands of the prophets today. That's that's Beat this out. Right. These blacks call themselves African Americans today. These blacks call themselves West Indians, but God calls them the tribe of Benjamin. These blacks call themselves Le uh, uh, Haitians, but God's called them Levi. Now, let's go to the Hispanic side. These Hispanics, quote unquote, call themselves Puerto Ricans. These Hispanics call themselves Cubans, Dominicans, so on and so forth, but God calls them different names. I'm calling them Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to generalize uh, uh, 12 tribes of Israel right. that you may know them as today, but it's right. not all about ethnicity. Why is that? Watch this, I want to get two points and then I'll let you talk. If you don't, if you may, watch this. Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse two. For thou are an holy people. God said, we are an holy people or a divine people. Who is he talking to? Come on. And to the Lord thy God, the Lord have chosen thee to he be a what? Have chosen thee. He has chosen us. Come on. To be a particular people unto himself. A peculiar people. Uh, have chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself. He has chosen us to be a the Israelites, a peculiar people to be a special people unto himself. Peculiar means strange. What is strange about the Israelites? Why in the hell do they abstain from eating pork? Why do they why do they wear fringes on all of their garments? We are a strange people to everybody else. But how are we so strange but everybody likes to copy us? I don't know. Exodus out. chapter 11 and verse 7. We, this scripture right here is proving that it's not about color. God has chosen the Israelites to be a divine people unto himself. That's right. Only the Israelites. Right. I can read Deuteronomy 1 and 1 and it's going to tell you who that book, the whole book of Deuteronomy is written to. But let's go into, is it about color, Brittany? Exodus 11 and 7. Oh. Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. Read. But, but against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. A dog can't move his tongue against the Israelites. A dog cannot move his tongue against the, ch the chosen people of God. Right? Right. Watch this. Against man or beast. Against any of our beasts. If we have beasts dwelling in the land, somebody better not speak against our beast. Right. We got our little ox trailing or whatever, walking. Somebody walk up. God don't allow that. You understand? Watch this. That ye may know how that the Lord do, does put, put a difference between the Egyptian and Israel. Aren't Egyptians black? Bring it out. But the, the true Israelites are black. That's right. So that's telling you right now, it ain't about pigment. Bring it it's out. about who God chose. Yes. Who did God choose? Isaiah 44 and 1. We just read it in Deuteronomy 14. We're gonna read it somewhere else. Maybe people don't believe me. But I've talked a lot. Do you have a do you have a question? You understand so far? I understand what you're saying. It's not about me. We only, we only bringing out what our ancestors wrote for us. That's right. You understand? I'm going to get another scripture after this. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 1. Read. Ye yet now here, O Jacob, my servant. We are the true servants of God. Not anybody. That's how special God is. The only He only has a particular people on earth that can serve him. God gave us instructions, uh, guides, which are called commandments and statutes, on how to serve him and love him. You understand? Come on. Do you agree with that? Uh, yes. I see your face. He's like, I do, okay. but I don't even. I don't even the him. The him. I think that. I don't think that we can personify our creator. Is it about me? Is it about me and you? It's about. Is it objective or what the truth is? You know, I mean, this is an interpretation based. Is it an interpretation? What other say. But this, this is, a, is. That's not the creator. The creator didn't say this is what this is. This is what this is. That's the interpretation. What you're sure. giving me is an interpretation of what someone else is interpreting. How did you? How did you? How did you come to that conclusion? Because okay, what are you, you're reading Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. You're reading the when you say the book. That's who's telling that story. That's not our creator, and that's how I believe. So I'm not going to. So when I say a book. I'm saying the, the writer of that book. Is that, is that what? So, with, is that how the Bible is to be interpreted? No. Okay. No, so the that, Bible so the is... Person that, the person that's in the, that, that is in the book, that's not who, who's writing that. That's not it. Yes. Okay. The person who's writing down, but who gave the words? Who gave the inspiration? Who that's told... Because at the end of the day, you misunderstand something. This ain't... I, I was walking down the street. Let me write down. I was walking down the street. This is, you're going to go into slavery and serve another people. For, for years upon years, 
And this is what's going to happen, and you haven't experienced it yet. You understand? This is a book of prophecy which has now made history. That's why we kept telling you this is a history book. That's right. Deuteronomy, you know what? Cut everything. Deuteronomy 28, verse 16. What's Bring it up! Watch this. Yes, 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 yes. Give me that. Exodus, Exodus chapter 31, verse 18. And he gave it to Moses. He did what? And he gave it to Moses. He gave it to Moses what? When, when he had made an end uh, community with him upon Mount Sinai. He made an end of communing, meaning having a conversation with Moses on the top of Mount Sinai, right? Come on. Two tables of testimonies, tables of stone, written with the finger of God. Written with the finger of God. Written with the finger of God. Who right. wrote the commandments? God said, no, no, nobody can uh, copyright this. I'm writing it with my own finger. That's, that's right. You take them tablets and you take them to the people, my people. Now, Deuteronomy 28, verse 38. Now we're about to get all history. You tell me what, what author on earth, what author on earth can write something about a future and it actually come to pass? I say future, but at that time, it, a prophecy. You understand? Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 38. Thou sh 68, 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, uh, into Egypt again. So he said he was going to bring a certain people into Egypt again. What is Egypt synonymous for? I think uh, Officer went over it with you earlier. The house of bondage. So, I interpret Egypt as the land of black people. Is it about us or what the Bible said? This is what I've read. Okay, watch this. Exodus 20. Okay, 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 I got you, I got you. All right, like, watch this. Because every time we went into the land of Egypt, Brittany, we went into slavery. Every time we went into Egypt, well, sometimes we were fleeing from persecution. So we went into Egypt. Thinking God was going, the Egyptians was going to side with us, but we're not the same people. Watch this. Exodus 20 and verse 2. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Now, what did God, let's remove me and you out of, the, out of this story right here. What did God say that Egypt meant? Brittany, let me get you out of bondage. Come on. Uh, she's yeah. taking you from the word of God. Give, give that mark. What's that mark? Give me that. Give me that. No, 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 no. Hey, Brittany. Give, give me that mark 414. Hurry, Brittany. Hurry, Hurry. Brittany. Hurry. 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 Oh, I'm going to leave you with this then. Because I'm going to just give you the live situation. Mark 414. Yes. I'm going to help you out right quick. What's your name? What's your name again, sis? Denisha. All right. All praise, Denisha. I'm going to show you something. The spirit that you're rolling in. I'm going to show you something before you leave. But before you leave, you're going to understand that God marked you. And he wanted to wake you up to who you are. I know Oh, you know that. All right, then you're going to know what not to do right now. Watch this. Mark chapter 4, verse 15. And these are, the, these are they by the wayside. These are they by the wayside. Hi, wayside. Come on. Where the word is sown. Where the word is sown. The word is being given to you right now, Denisha and Brittany. Come on. But when they have heard, when you have heard the word, Brittany, Satan cometh immediately. Satan cometh immediately. Denisha came immediately. Satan cometh immediately. The spirit you're rolling in is not about me. It's what the Bible says, Brittany. Brittany, listen. The Bible says Satan cometh immediately when you heard the word. What you just heard the word? She said, let me deliver you, nigga. She said, let me, she put the food in your hand on the Sabbath and said, let me deliver you. Bring it up. To who? Out of oppression. Out of oppression. The next words is gonna say that. Why do you, we can go through this whole Bible. You want, we can go through this whole Bible. We can go through the New Testament. Hey, how about this? You want to go to Revelations? Give me Revelations chapter 22, verse 18. We're going to the last book of the Bible, just for you. We just for the just for. Uh, hey, you got that book where I only got Psalms in the New Testament. Bring it up. We about to cut you up with the last book of the Bible. Give me Revelations. 21, verse 18. Watch this. We are the people of God. I'm going to show you something. You're going to hear this voice. You're going to get this. Watch this. 21 and 18. 21 and 18. Satan has came and took the word that was sown to you, Brittany. Right. Watch this. Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. But the fruitful and the unbelieving and the abominable and the murderers and the whoremongers and the sorcerers and the idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burning with fire and brimstone. They didn't walk away, but I want everybody that's hearing the sound of my voice. If you don't repent, it's going to be five and barbecue for that behind. What's going to use to scream black power?
while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. Shalom, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom.